Hey guys, today I want to show you how you can get five times more sales in your Shopify store. And there's a little trick with that that's actually really simple and really easy. And I'm going to reveal that today in this video and show you the strategy and kind of the, the, the mentality and buyer psychology behind that. You're running pay traffic to your Shopify store. That can be Facebook ads, right? So right now you're spending $100 and you're getting 100 people for that to click onto your store page. And then after these 100 people, one person buys. In fact, Shopify released the official numbers that in average 1.3% is the official conversion rate that most Shopify stores do. And what people are trying is then to say, okay, now I'm at 1.3, how can I get to 2? If I would only get to 2, then I would break even on my on my sales. So I only need a little bit more. And then people start tweaking everything. They start tweaking the ads, tweaking the offers. They you know, buy all sort of plugins for their store that, you know, suggest social proof that other people bought, some countdown timers, and, you know, all of that crap that, that people spend money money on uh, Shopify plugins. So I want to show you how you can get from 1% to 5% really quick with a simple trick in your Shopify store. And if I say in your Shopify store, probably I haven't been completely honest because the system that I like to use is not your Shopify store, but a sales funnel. So what I want to break down to you today is how we convert 5% of people in our, you know, for our products in, 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 you know, our sales funnels. And I want to show you the difference between the sales funnel and the uh, Shopify store, okay? So if you're on a Shopify store, or generally on a website, okay, I know there are different themes, different processes, but it could look like this, right? So very first, you have your you have your traffic source, right? So you have your ad. From your ad, the person goes onto your store page. On your store page, you have multiple products, okay? So let's say that is your store page. You have all of these products, okay? Then a person clicks on one product, okay, I wanna go to this. So you go to the product sales page, okay? That's the sales page. And then on the sales page, you have an image, you know, you might have a buy now button, you have a description, you have some reviews on that, you know, wh wh whatever you have on the sales page that makes the person actually buy your product. Then I say, okay, add to cart now. So you have the cart. And by the way, on each step, people dropping off. On each step, people are like, oh, that product looks cool on the ad. And then they go to the store and they got confused because there are so many many products on the store and they say, oh, maybe, you know, I came for this product, but maybe another product is better. Let me check this and let me check the home and let me say the, check the about page and maybe they have a blog and, oh, my phone rang. And, and then, you know, people get on their phones, people get distracted. There are a million distractions popping up on the smartphones or on the computer screen uh, all the time. So people just forget about it, you know. So on each step, people are going to be dropping off. So now look at all of these steps. We have the ad, we have the home, we have the sales page, add to cart, right? So you have all the products that you have in the cart. If you just chose one, you have one product in the cart. Then it says, okay, now go to the checkout. So people go to the checkout page, right? So on the checkout page, do you really want to check out? Yes, I want to check out. And then people put in their billing information, billing and shipping, right? And then people actually check out and land on the confirmation page, the thank you page. This is the process that you force people through when buying your products on a Shopify store. And that is why at this page here, you have a 1% conversion rate. Because people drop off here, people drop off here, people drop off here, and people drop off here. 100 people that clicked on your ad, you only have, have, have this one guy here in the end who's buying your products, right? That is Shopify. And there's a very simple way around that to increase your, your conversion rates here, okay? So, and that's what we call the sales funnel. And actually, I'm going to show you that on my screen here as well uh, in a minute, how, how that looks. But basically, you have the first page. You still have the ad, right? So you have the ad. You send people from the ad to that one product. You don't send them to the, to the whole shop page. You don't even want to do that. You advertise one product. That's the product you want to sell them to. Let's say you're selling those pants, okay? On this page, you collect email addresses, okay? So on this page, you say, hey, Leave me your email if you really want to buy this product. 
and then 40% of people leave you their email address. Later on, you can market to all of those email addresses, to all of those people again and again and again and again, but that's not even the point because we're just speaking about the immediate effect. The long-term effect probably is a 10x or 20x to, to, to what you can do uh, in terms of conversion rates on your store, right? But let's just speak about the short-term, 24-hour person comes from the ad to the funnel and makes a purchase. So here we have a 40% drop off of people that, you know, uh, some people leave, some people stay, some people give you their email addresses. All the people that give you their email addresses then land on the page where they can buy the pen. But instead of, you know, saying here how many pens you want, put in your, put in your quantity, we give a quantity discount. So we can say you can buy one set of pens, two set of pens, four set of pens, or eight set of pens. And, you know, people have then the option to buy more of those. Okay. And the more they buy, the cheaper it gets. So people get actually incentivized to buy more products. So we say, okay, four is the best deal. So most people buy the four. Then what we have here is a little thing that we call an order bump. This is basically like you're in a supermarket, you're at the checkout and you put the gum, you just toss it in the cart because it was just there, right? So on this, we, we, we often end up to make a $20 additional purchase uh, revenue. So every person that comes, for every person that buys one of the pants, we get 20% off those people. So five people buy the pants, one person also buys, that can be this, uh, uh, what is that, this, this eraser here, right? It's just a no-brainer offer that we add to that. And then we go and we have upsells where we sell more products, but that's, that's not the point for today's video. That's just how we increase revenue even more. Today it's just about how do we increase conversion rate. So on this page here, we have a 5% conversion rate because first of all, on, on the, on the first page where they land in the funnel, the, the, the email address page, people already took an action. So you got people in motion. It is the harder thing to get someone in motion, to get someone to move them from browsing their phone, checking Facebook to get into the motion of making a purchase. It's the hard thing. So with that email address first, of all, you get their contact information. So you can later market to them again, right? So if they if they chose not to buy, you can send them more emails to actually convince them, you know, to do the purchase, to build a little bit of the, the relationship. But also it triggers something of, you know, pe it gets people in motion. And because they already have invested their time and their efforts in filling in their email address, now they're so much more likely to take action on the purchase because they actually invested something from, from you know, their time, their effort. So now they, they feel like they can be rewarded. So I look at the product, it's, a, it's an impulse purchase. And actually, if I get four of those, I get a really good deal. So not only get I rewarded for my action, I get double rewarded because now I get a good deal, right? So here we're looking at 5% conversion rate on the low end, okay? This is the major, major difference between this uh, uh, normal Shopify style checkout process and the process on, on a sales funnel. So let me quickly show you that on the screen, how that looks like. So here on the very first page, you just, you just look at this page. So we're selling this smart bulb right now, right? Um, this is actually a very successful smart bulb. Uh, we, we've, we've been doing more than a million dollar a year in revenue just from that one product on Amazon. Um, now we're taking it off Amazon and we put it in this sales funnel. So. As you can see here, on this page, you only see one product. You only see, uh, you, you don't see a home, no contact us, no blog, no distractions, okay? There are two actions people can do on this page. They can either leave their email address or they can leave. That's all they can do here. There's no other, there's no other, other choice, right? So then people leave the email address and then go to the next page, which then is the checkout page. So on the checkout page, we have everything combined, the contact information, the shipping information, and the billing information, everything on one page. There is no, you know, there's no separation of pages there. We don't give people the option to drop off, okay? Then we highlight the option that is most popular, right? So now we're already at $27. And then here people can add another $14 product with just the click of the button or with just checking a box. That's it. It's so simple. But because it's so simple, it works so well. Okay. So get rid of all of these massive stores with, you know, that you spend days and weeks and, and, you know, hours a day to make more and more pretty. It's not even necessary. Simple wins. Okay. Simplicity 
really wins. That's all you need. If you want to have a simple process, give me your email address, purchase. You don't want to be, look at my store, pick a product, add it to your cart, choose the checkout, enter your billing and shipping information. Thank you. That's not what you want to do. So I hope you liked this lesson today. I hope you liked this uh, this video. Let me know what questions you have in the comments below and I'm going to answer them there for you. Uh, we do daily videos here and if you actually want to learn this process, how we set this up, I have a free trial right now to a 30-day one-on-one coaching where we too, you and me, speak on the phone and actually crank out your own funnel and get you the, those conversion rates and work on your ads and, you know, get people in the funnel actually make sales within those 30 days so if you're interested in that um, just check out the links in the description below if you want to learn more about that make sure to subscribe to this channel because we talk a lot about this and other methods that you can use to increase the revenue you make to increase the conversion rate and if you haven't started yet here you get the motivation to do so and also here you get the steps that get you there quickly you don't want to go you know and build out all of this stuff here you know, you don't, you want to start quickly, as soon as possible from I make the decision that I want to start a business to earning a dollar. That's what you want to do. You don't want to add time to the equation. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and learn everything you can about this topic. I'm super, super excited uh, to have you as a member of the Easy Peasy Ecom community and look forward to seeing you tomorrow in the next video.